Hello. This is a four-part lesson on simple regression. In this lesson, we'll cover four parts to simple regression, beginning with the research question and the variables that make it up, and I'll also include some SPSS tutorials. The second part covers descriptive statistics, followed by assessing assumptions, and then in part four, we will interpret the variate the statistical outcomes, and evaluate them. To set the problem up, 10 technicians from the Atlanta International Airport were surveyed. Their average age was 35 years, and they were asked how many years that they spent with their education and what was their annual salary. So to cast this into a research question, you might say, to what extent does education explain the variability in income? It will become more clear why this is the right research question. The dependent variable in this case, or the criterion variable as it is referred to more accurately in regression analyses, is income. And we want to know what explains the variability in income. That is, why do some people make more money than other people? And why do other people make less money than the average? There are two variables in this analysis. The criterion variable, also known as the dependent variable, which is income. And then the regressor variable, also referred to as independent variables, is education. I'll be using SPSS version 19 and I'm going to cover the data view and the variable view. So to set this problem up, I opened SPSS and created two variables, education and income, and entered the data. In the variable view, you will see that I have coded both of these variables as scale level and the input variable is education and the target variable is income. It really doesn't make any difference in terms of the analysis or how SPSS might compute it, but I think it's helpful to complete all of the information in the variable view so that as your data file perhaps gets larger, then you'll be able to determine the role of variables in the analyses. We'll be using SPSS to do the following things. Compute descriptive statistics, create a histogram and a scatter plot, compute the correlation coefficient, and a linear regression analysis. I'll provide some information about describing data and assessing assumptions as well as interpreting and evaluating the statistical outcomes in the later sessions of this tutorial.